What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we got the brand new tier 3 Audi RS5 Coupe. And we're going to set this guy up for live racing. We've got low performance point, high Evo. All right. I'm going to show you how we have the setup. This will make this car dominate at live racing. And I'm actually going to show you three different setups for this car, depending on what parts you have. All right. One requires three stage six. And the other two setups are on stage five only. I would recommend probably the first setup or the third one that I show you guys. All right. Let's get to that. So right now we have the transmission at stage six, the engine is stock, turbo stock, intake stock, nitrous stage six, body stock, tires on stage six. So the three tunable parts are all on stage six. Everything else is refitted back to stock. Put your nitrous right around 163 and 5.6. Final drive still at 2.0, tire pressures, 26 PSI, you got 53 and 47. All right, that gives us a dyno time of a 8.749, okay? This car should go by the quarter mile since it's tier three, 8.749, and our goal is to run as close to that time as possible without beating it, all right? Now on this particular tune, this is how we're gonna drive it, okay? Let go of the gas a little bit before number one, Pretty much all shifts right before the red line and you can hit nitrous on probably second gear right here we go three two one go second and nitrous third fourth fifth and if it does go faster than your dyno which it may by just a little teeny tiny bit you might want to try and slow down just a little bit before you cross the finish line because the goal is to not beat dyno time. These low performance point high evo tunes have a very specific purpose and that's to win live races without beating dyno. When you win live races and beat the dyno time, it will push the car into a faster lobby and then into a faster lobby. So next thing you know, you can't win live races anymore and then you're going to have to reset your car with these low performance point high evo tunes you will never have to reset the car guys all right so we're going to try and do a couple of live races just to see how this car does all right this oh we crashed free win for that guy i guess all right we're going to go ahead and challenge this little 250 gto which is actually a really good live racing car so if we can win this live race we know this little guy is doing going to do pretty good Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what happens. Are we going to win? Are we going to win? And it looks like we got it, okay? We probably should have slowed down just a little bit before we crossed the finish line. All right, 8.715. He ran an 8.852, so we could have definitely slowed down a little bit. So this should do very, very, very well at live racing with this particular setup. All right, now we're going to try and take those stage six parts off of it and put on the stage five parts and see if we can still get it up over 1000 Evo. That's the goal is to have the car over 1000 Evo. So we got 910 respect points, which is pretty good because we're not in a crew. If we were in a crew, that would have earned up over 1000. All right. Anytime you got over 1000 Evo and you got four stars. That would have earned over a thousand when you have the crew bonuses added on to it. So if I set those three tunable parts down to stage five, I move the nitrous here, final drive here, and the tire, the tire, tires and final drive stay the same, but the nitrous changes. We can get plus 947, so it's a little bit under a thousand EVO points. So it's probably going to do okay on stage five. All right. We've got everything stock except for those three tunable parts, the tires, the transmission, and the nitrous on stage five. So this is also going to work, okay? It might do okay like this, but I don't think it's going to perform as well since we've dropped under the 1,000 EVO points. Generally on these high performance point high, low, high, low performance point high EVO tunes, you want to see three times the amount 
of Evo points as the performance points, which we don't actually have on the stage six or the stage five parts, but it's pretty darn close. Now, we could play around a little bit and put some of these parts up to like stage three, which we'll go ahead and do. So that also works. Okay, we put all everything on stage three and then move the three tunable parts to stage five. And that put us back up over 1000 Evo. But at the same time, we have 500 performance points instead of 400. So you can easily play around with this car a little bit. All right, to change something around for live racing. Um, let's go ahead and take this one into a live race and see how this works. All right, so let's see if we win this live race, guys. Now, it should drive technically about the same as I showed you on the last run. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's just find out if we win. Let's see if we win this race. And we're going to go ahead and slow down so we don't beat our dino time. So, yeah, that one, no problem. Let's do a couple more of these real quick. Then we got an 8.8. .8. I forgot to look what our dino time was, but let's go ahead and do a couple more of these lives and see if we win more of them. All right. So I gave you guys basically three different options to set this up for live racing, depending on which parts you have or want to install. So you can play around with that a little bit and see how it goes. And I will slow down before I cross the finish line. All right, we slowed down a bunch there. So actually, this might be a super good live racing tune for this. This might be your best bet, honestly. 9.0s, they're running 9.4s. That's pretty darn good. All right, so the third and final setup actually seems like that's getting you in a lobby where you're just blowing people away. So let's take a good look at this one, okay? Engine on stage three, turbo stage three, inter intake stage three, nitrous five, body three, tires five, transmission five, and we're back to the engine on stage three. So everything's on stage three except for the three tunable parts are on stage five. We'll go ahead and look at the tune again, guys. All right, put your nitrous right about here. Final drive down to 2.0, tire pressures 54 over 46. And this car is really going to dominate in live with this particular setup right here. All right. So I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, go do that right now and set those little notifications. All guys, ring that bell notifications all so you don't miss any good uploads. And we will catch you next time. All right. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.